Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and today on Provost Park Pass, I'm gonna do the top five secrets of Hollywood Studios that you did not know. That's right, we're in Florida, Hollywood Studios. Let's do this. Today's video is sponsored by our Patreon, Jason Smith. Jason's an amazing individual and he's sponsoring this video. All right, before we get started in showing you the top five things uh, you need uh, secrets here at Hollywood Studios, I have to get my favorite food item. And when I say my favorite food item, I mean this is of all the food items in all of the Florida parks, this is my number one, guys. It's the meatball sub at uh, Rizzo Pizza. Oh, it's so good. It's, seriously, it should be all five secrets because this is how good the food is. Let's go get that meatball sub. All right, guys, we are walking in right there. It says uh, Pizza Rizzo, the city's top rated pizza. Now at nighttime, that neon will flicker and it says it's rat pizza. So yeah, at nighttime, the neon will flicker and I'll say it's rat pizza. Let's go get these meatball subs, man. They are so good. Seriously, I think about the sandwich all the time. It's my favorite. I love it. The meatball sub. So good. We're going to be going in. Let's do this. Let's get this meatball sub. There is Rizzo. Hi. Hi. You guys, this is the meatball sub they have here at Rizzo Pizza. It is, I'm, I'm can't tell you. The reason it's so good is they don't drench it. It's like so much marinara sauce and the bread is always good. It's fresh. It is so good. All right. Let's move on to the top five secrets at Hollywood Studios that you did not know. The number five secret that you didn't know at Hollywood Studios is the meatball sub is the best sandwich you have here. All right, let's move on to the real number five. All right, before we get to the real number five secrets you don't know here at Hollywood Studios, I want to do a quick little walk around this area because I love it because it's really uh, has a lot of stuff here from the Muppets. Now these aren't the top five secrets. This is just stuff that I like to show you guys. So let's check it out. This is Miss Piggy right over there, but we want to walk down here. There are so many cool things down this area that most people just don't ever see because not a lot of people come down here. You notice that there's some paint job there that Muppets have done. Ramp that away, ramp this away. You'll also notice a giant bullseye where they drop something there from the props department. And they come right down here. Now at the end, if you watch the Muppet 3D, you'll see a gazebo. And that's a gazebo from the Muppet 3D. Nice little gazebo there. And you'll also notice wet paint. Do not touch. It's dripped right down here. You'll notice Muppet stuff. It says all the way up there. Muppet stuff right over there. And of course, you see Kermit the Frog. Looking over there, you see like an eyeball right there. And then you can see where... Looks like Animal or Gonzo. Somebody painted all this air. This looks like it's Animal handprints. And their paint is completely just everywhere. You'll see Dr. Bunsen Honeydew up at the top up there. Now this store behind me is called Stage One. It's where they have all the Muppet um, paraphernalia. And since the world shut down, this is the only store that's not been reopened. You can see it says Muppets. You see Gonzo right there. Yeah, the store has not been reopened. There's a lot of speculation about that. People are wondering when they're gonna reopen the store uh, because they feel like they haven't reopened it. Maybe if they, when they do reopen it, if it's not Muppets, then maybe Disney's gonna completely, gonna completely move away from the Muppets, which would make me sad because I really like the Muppets. But it is the one store they have not reopened. And um, I don't know, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Maybe at some point they will reopen it. Maybe they'll put more Muppet stuff in there. Maybe just be Mickey stuff and they'll just move Muppets completely out of Hollywood Studios. All right, so let's move on to the five secrets, the real five secrets you don't know. Number five, let's do this right now. All right, before we get to the number five, I just want to show you something kind of cool outside the Indiana Jones Epic Spec Stuntacular. They have a sign that says, warning, do not pull rope, but the knot has been crossed out. It's like a frayed knot. <laughs> Just like they have it in Disneyland, you can hear them. Oh no, oh no, oh blimey. Now, let me show you where the fifth, the best secret here is at Hollywood Studios. It's this way. What? Um, this fifth best secret here at Hollywood Studios is at the exit of Indiana Jones and the Stuntacular. By the way, do you know who the actor is in Indiana Jones in Norway? The actor who plays Indiana Jones in Norway? His name is Harrison Fjord. Woohoo! All right, let me show you this. Now, at Disneyland, outside Indiana Jones, the attraction, they have a truck there. That truck is what's used in that amazing truck chase scene. It's like, truck, what truck? You know, in Raiders Lost Ark. 
Well, here in Florida, at the exit of the Indiana Spectacular, Stuntacular, they have this tank. This tank was one of the tanks that was used in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Remember, like when he's riding on the horse and he shoves the rock in and it blows up? There is the tank from that movie. And if you look very carefully, what do you see right there? You see like, you know, remember when he shoved the rock in the, the turret and it blew up and splintered? Just like that. Here's the tank from that movie. The number four secret you didn't know here at Hollywood Studios is the meatball sub. It's the best sandwich you can get, guys. You've got to try it. Mm. All right, let's move on to real number four. Okay, so the number four secret you didn't know here at Hollywood Studios, I know the meatball sub's amazing. It really should be all, all five secrets, but it's Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit was a cartoon that came out, I think in the late 80s. And it, when it came out, everybody loved it. It swept the country and people out there was like dance crazes like Roger Rabbit dance and all kinds of things. Everybody loved Roger Rabbit. They had some, they have the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin. And he's a big character here at Disney. Through, through time, he's kind of diminished and not many people know him. But there are two references to Roger Rabbit here at Hollywood Studios. First is the billboard behind me. The billboard behind me, you see Roger Rabbit, Baby Herman, and Jessica Rabbit. But if you look right over here, you're gonna see right over there, it says Eddie Valiant. Eddie Valiant was the detective that was trying to find Roger Rabbit. And if you look in the window, what do you see? Roger Rabbit crashed right through the window. Just get a little closer so you can see that. There's Roger Rabbit going right through the window blinds and there's Eddie Valiant, the detective that helped Roger Rabbit in the movie. Private investigator. All right, so the number three secret you don't know that you know, uh, here at Hollywood Studios is the meatball sub is the best sandwich. You guys are gonna try it, it's so good. All right, let's move on to the real number three. For the number three coolest secret you don't know here, we're back here at uh, the Hollywood Studios here. And behind me, of course you got like the little, little dinosaur over there. And right back there is where the Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway is. But behind me you have PV's cocktails and, and like, what's that, what does it say? PV's frozen Coca-Cola concoctions. PV's, PV was a name of a mechanic in a movie called The Rocketeer. Now, The Rocketeer was an amazing movie. It came out in the early 90s, I believe. And this is before all the superhero craze and all those things. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, watch it with your kids. It's a lot of fun. But in the movie, he has a jet pack, and he wears a helmet with a fin on the back of his head, and he turns his head like that to help him fly. And guess right here? They have one of those props for the movie, the helmet and the jet pack. This is a prop from the movie Rocketeer. There's two props here. One, you got the helmet. That's what he'd wear. It's kind of hard to see, but it has a long fin that goes off the back of his head. He would turn his head, that would help him fly where he wanted to go. And this is the uh, prop from the movie, The Rocketeer, the jet pack that he wore. He put that jet pack on, the guy was very dashing, very handsome, had his leather jacket, and he'd fly around and do all kinds of good things. That's the prop from the movie, two of them. What? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Max is so amazing, you are amazing. The very best, seriously. I think, I'm gonna say it, you're cooler than Powerline. Yes, you are. He's blushing, you made him He's blush. blushing. Thanks, Max. Today's video is sponsored by our Patreon, Jason Smith. And Jason, he's just a great guy. And I asked him, he's like, he wanted to sponsor a video. I'm like, well, what do you want to say? What's your message? I really don't have a message. So I just want to say this, Jason, you are wonderful and you are amazing. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. You are awesome. And keep being an amazing, bright force in the world. All right, guys, let's continue on with the video. Oh, hello there. The number two secret that you don't know here at Hollywood Studios is the meatball sub. You guys have to try it. It is so good. Mm. Mm. Just kidding. Let's move on to real number two. Before we get to the real number two, and we all know that the number two is meatball sub, Mike. And speaking of number two, I could make some kind of like number two joke, poop joke, but poop jokes aren't my favorite, but they are solid number two. All right, so we're heading over to the number two. You guys can see the Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway right over there. 
but I'm going to turn this way and we're going to walk down this way towards Aerosmith, the rock and roller coaster. Before we get to the number two, though, I do want to show you this really cool honorable mention. Okay, so there's the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Okay, right there. And then if you turn behind, you can't see anything because the tree's growing over it. But let me show you what it really is. Now you guys know the story of Tower of Terror, how it ends up, you know, people get hurt and whatever, and it's like the haunted ghosts are. Well, let me show you what the Tower of Terror looked like before all the bad things happened. Behind that tree, which is really hard to see, it says, our city's newest landmark, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Fashionable dining, modern accommodations, where the stars stay and play. And there it is, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, before it became the Tower of Terror. Just kind of fun to look at it. All right, guys, there's the, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Now, if you guys remember, if you just watched the video a couple days ago, when we did the Epcot Secrets Revealed, the back of that is designed to look exactly like Morocco. The front, not so much, but the back of it, that way it blends into Morocco in Epcot, which is directly that way. All right, let's keep moving on. All right, so we're gonna walk down here to the Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Now, there is some major rumors going on about this. There's rumors that the contract with Aerosmith might be expiring and that they're, uh, Aerosmith decided not to re-up the contract. So that means which band is gonna go in here? Well, there is a theory. The theory is it's gonna be Queen. We don't know if that's true or not, but the reason that people think that is because inside they now have a Queen poster and they never had a Queen poster before. So people think that maybe that's foreshadowing. I don't know, but Aerosmith is awesome. Here's a little fun fact. My mother-in-law, Sweet D, has a total crush on Steven Tyler. And she saw him one time in New Hampshire pumping gas and she drove around trying to just get up enough courage to go just like say hi to him and she ended up chickening out. So you got, you don't, you snooze, you lose. All right, so before you get on the rock and roller coaster, you can see this amazing huge poster of Aerosmith. They're like in a car playing. There's a lot of hidden Mickeys on this poster. Let me show them to you. First, you're gonna notice the license plate says Disney World. Right there, Disney World. Next, you're gonna see the kid's hat. Right there, a little hidden Mickey right there on the kid's hat. Then, Joe Perry, the guitarist, his necklace has a hidden Mickey on it. Right there. Then, Steven Tyler, the lead singer, his shirt is covered in hidden Mickeys. Hey, before we continue on, I just wanna take a quick moment to talk to you. And I am talking to you. And I wanna address something. A little while ago, somebody kind of says, they're like, they're like, oh my gosh, what is, why do you do that in every video? Why do you save these messages? And I was like, it's important to me. Because it, I feel like that I want people to know that they are important. And I know that some people are like, whatever, Chris, this is, it's dumb. It's not dumb to me. I want you to know that I think that you are important. You make the world a better place. Do you know that? Just by being here. You absolutely are wonderful. Did you know that? You make the world a better place because you bring a certain energy and vibe into this, this amazing place. And I want you to know that no matter how, like if you get depressed, sad, if you're having a medical issue, if you're having a hard time with your job, it's going to get better. And the reason it's gonna get better is because you are amazing. And I hope you guys know that I really mean it. I just want you to know that I've also got through some hard times myself and sometimes you just, I just wish that somebody would have been there to kind of pick me up and say, Chris, it's gonna be fine. And so, since I understand that, I just want you guys to know, it's gonna be fine. All right, guys, the number one secret you have to know about the Hollywood Studios is, the meatball sub is the best sandwich here in all of Florida. And I'm not even kidding. All right. Let's move on to the real number one. All right, for the number one secret you do not know here at Hollywood Studios, you gotta come back over here right by <laughs> Rizzo Pizza. <laughs> but that's not what we're looking at. We're looking over here at the Muppet Studios. This is a really fun piece of trivia. If you have little kids, they're gonna love this one. It's one of my favorite things. It shows how Disney puts all this amazing detail in whatever they do. Let's go inside and show you the number one secret you didn't know about Hollywood Studios. Come on. All right, so as you come on into the Muppet Studios. Right 
you're gonna see this little thing right over here, okay? And what does it say? Back in five minutes, key is under the mat. That's important. And if you look down, there's a mat, and there's the key right there. What? That's the number one secret you didn't know here at Hollywood Studios. The key is under the mat. All right, guys, I've had so much fun here at Florida, here in Orlando, doing these amazing videos. Now, let me tell you what's going to be happening next because things are going to be changing. It's shifting gears. I'm going to be traveling to Tampa to doing the Tampa uh, Bay Comic Convention. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes things of like what it's like to interview a celebrity, be up on the stage, get everything up there going. And if you've never been to a comic convention, you kind of get an idea of what it's like because they are so fun. Then after that, we're going to kind of take a little bit of downtime for two days because I'll be exhausted. Then Amanda, myself, and Miles, we're going to be traveling to what? Disneyland Paris. That's right. We'll go to Disneyland Paris and they're kicking off there. And then after Disneyland Paris, we're going to England, Scotland, the whole area. We got so much more. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And you guys are amazing. So thank you so much for watching these videos. You're the best. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hollywood Studios, doom, 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 is really fun, but they have the best sandwich. And what is that sandwich? That sandwich is the meatball sandwich. I think about that sandwich when I'm not at Hollywood Studios. I think about it because I love it so much.